Hi guys, Tom here, and this is five things that you need to know about St. Wollstone. Number one, he was born in Worcestershire and uh, joined the Benedictines and eventually became a priest. He was known early on in his priesthood for campaigning and eventually ending the sale of Irish people as slaves. So he was a wonderful person who really stood up for the rights of others. Number two, he was made a bishop and when the Normans invaded in 1066, he was the only bishop to be kept on by William the Conqueror. In fact, he became one of his closest advisors and was known mainly for rebuilding the cathedral in his home parish, but also for his constant care for the poor and the needy. Number three, he's the patron saint of vegetarians. So this month, I know a lot of people out there are doing veganuary or cutting down on the amount of meat they're eating. So St. Wollston is a, a saint that you can pray to, maybe for a little bit of strength if you're really craving a bacon sandwich. Number four, one of the miracles attributed to St. Wollston involves a man who fell from the top of uh, the cathedral tower. And as he fell, St. Wollston uh, blessed the air and he landed, got to his feet, and walked off safely. What a miraculous event. And number five, one of the words this year that we're focusing on uh, is discipleship. And I think St. Wollstone is a really wonderful example of what it means to be a disciple. Someone who was strong in their faith, committed to Jesus, but also committed to serving the poor and those in need. So that's all we've got time for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, my name's been Tom. I'll see you soon. This has been five things that you need to know about St. Wollstone.